I have a little over an hour to work out. So what I'm going to do is warm up for a bit and then go do a 15 to 20 minute effort with a very high cadence and then the same thing again with a very low cadence. When I get back, let's talk about what a relatively big workout can do to you. Hey cycling community, this is the Cycling Greek. See you in a bit. Not bad. I think I had a minimum of 105 RPM as an average. Whew. I'll find out and I'll post it down below. And I can only do that because I've been working on this in the previous weeks. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I felt like my high cadence was not where it should have been last season. And part of that probably was because I just my concern for my uh, for my AFib. Also, I was doing some big gear work, as I should have been last year, and I was relying on that a lot, especially when I was climbing, or when I was resting in in a fast-moving pack. But uh, there were times where I could have used a little more high cadence, more consistently, for a longer period of time to give my muscles a rest. So, because I recognized that last year, I'm starting to work on that now. And that'll be one of my little things that I'm working at. There's a number of little things I'm working at for next season. Okay, uh, I'm going to rest a few more minutes, spin around, and then uh, go do this length back. It's, it'll be in a much bigger gear. We'll see how that goes because uh, earlier today I was working, although with light weights right now because of my shoulder, uh, squats and deadlifts and uh, Belgian squats. All right, let's get to it. Good workout. About 60 minutes, that's all it was. That's all I had time for until the uh, sun's going down. Days are getting shorter. So uh, on the way back, I probably averaged something like 70 RPM. I'll post it down there once I uh, download it. And uh, the wattage, I have no idea. It felt like a sweet spot, but uh, but who knows. I The thing is that I kept the pressure on the whole way and focused on doing that full circle spinning and I was able to maintain that for the entire I'm going to guess it's going to be like 18 minutes and uh, I wasn't I wasn't able to do that a couple weeks ago that quality I could do the length and I could do with the bigger gear but the quality of the spin was not there a couple weeks ago because of the work I've been doing it's finally starting to come around very pleased about that so let's talk about what big workouts do to your body Let's see what they do to my body. So I had that big workout Tuesday. It was a lot of endurance. I did those uh, that two and a half, uh, two and a half by five minutes uh, strength intervals up the climb. And then when I got to the climb uh, at the top, I went down the wall and did some what I call wall sprints. When I got, I came back in. It came back in at pretty much an endurance, uh, endurance pace fashion, 75 percent, and. Uh, then everything was all good. I, I ate some food, got refueled, then it was time to go to bed. And I really didn't feel like going to bed, but I, I was sleeping for a little bit and I slept for maybe half an hour. Then I got up and then 
you know, that was it. So I'm looking at my phone, looking at YouTube videos, uh, just relaxing. Um, and then about midnight, I decide to, I got to go eat. I'm getting hungry again. So I go and have a cliff bar and a, uh, uh, cliff uh, protein bar that was about I'm going to say 550 maybe 600 calories and then I slept and then I got up again like three o'clock and I was hungry again uh, this time I had a, a slice of bread and a can of sardines and I slept some more and I uh, got up at five o'clock when, when I was supposed to get up to go to work and, uh, and it was a hard day <laughs> I slept, slept during my breaks I slept during lunch I kind of was okay when I went home and uh, I didn't do much anything. I was, I planned on doing an easy spin that night, but no way. Best for me just to go to bed and uh, pretty much that's what I did. I had a much better night of sleep that night. That was last night. So, um, the other thing to, uh, to let you know on, uh, I'm going out again for my four lane workout for that big uh, on the bike strength work on Tuesday next week. I'm working on having a collab with another YouTuber. Uh, I don't want to mention who it is yet, but uh, I guess all I can say is that more than likely you're going to be looking at that person and you're never going to look at me. That'll give you a little bit of a hint. Okay, another good workout. Going to go eat, going to go download my stuff, going to go make a video. Remember, comment, like, subscribe. The Cycling Greek.